How's it going guys? This is Skokes with Chicago Blackhawks Central here. And I'm just going to cover a few things that uh, happened the last two, three days. Um, a few signings, uh, some Blackhawks news, and a uh, little prospect talk, right? Uh, usual, you know, we always want to get into some prospects because uh, it's obviously very exciting here uh, for the Hawks. Uh, so I'm going to cover that today. And starting out, uh, just with like a professional tryout, um, the Anaheim Ducks are actually bringing in Zach Cassian, um, you know, for uh, training camp. And it's it's pretty funny to see him go into teams like that. Like um, he was moved to the Coyotes, um, I believe, in a trade. I don't think he signed there. Um uh, right out of free agency, I believe he was in a uh, package deal, but he is heading to the Anaheim Ducks, um, which it seems like they're trying to bring in more vets, right, um, to compete, uh, to improve the the roster. But uh, Zach Cassian, at his point in his career, is uh, he's basically just, I mean, maybe just a fourth line guy um, just for some veteran presence in the locker room. Um, uh, some grittiness, right. Uh, for the fourth line, obviously not, not a great skater, but he's, he's a tough guy. And um, that's cool for the ducks, which I mean, they're a very young team and um, Cassian, maybe he's not the best role model, right. For the um, on ice product, right? Um, because he he he's just not that type of player. Uh, whether he's setting up goals or just contributing on offense, but that's not his game, right? He's a he's a rusher. He's a hitter. He's he's a tough guy, right? And we've seen that with um, like with the battle of Alberta, right? With the Oilers and. Uh, flames uh it's it's fun to watch him but this point of his career is um he's just trying to find a an interesting place to play right and playing with the uh coyotes last year and moving over to the ducks uh for this next year um on a professional tryout actually so uh maybe he doesn't even stick on that roster uh for opening day uh, but maybe he does stick around, and I think it would be smart to keep him all around, right, for that veteran uh, presence. Uh, so, so, so that's good for uh, Cassian, right? Uh, staying in warm weather, right? As a veteran, uh, that's that's cool for him. And just a few signings um, in the last two days, but two signings by the same team um, with the Seattle Kraken. Uh, first name is Devin Shore for a minimum deal, right? For uh, seven seventy five uh, thousand. Um, Devin Shore has been sticking around the last few years, um, I believe, with the Oilers, and uh, he's just a name that you see at every year uh, pop up. Like he's uh, staying on this roster, and uh, he's twenty nine years old now, so. Uh, he's getting up there, definitely. Didn't realize that he's been around that long, but uh, he's almost 30 now, and that's good for, for the Kraken to bring in someone like that. Uh, just some ex experience, right? Similar to uh, Cassian, obviously not, not as old, but uh, he's bringing more of a veteran presence to the uh, Kraken, which, I mean, the, the Kraken are a very interesting team, right? Um, I, I think they're going to have some young stars here in the next few years. Um, when Matty Beneers, uh, just coming on the scene last year, right? Uh, winning the Calder, uh, so rookie of the year, um, coming out of Michigan, Beneers was awesome there. Um, a star studded lineup with Michigan, right? And he was just the perfect player to step into to that type of role um 
as a centerman, he, he, he has skilled players ar- around him. Um, veteran guys, y- Yanni Gord, um, uh, Schwartz, just great depth players that have been around, quality goal scorers. Uh, Jared McCann stepped on the scene again last year, just really improved with like the big opportunity that he had there in Seattle. And they were obviously very uh, successful in, in the postseason. Uh, they got to the second round, I, I believe, uh, got knocked out. But that's a team that we should be keeping our eyes on. Just uh, someone that plays hard. They, I mean, they skate so, so hard all, all night. Um, that's a tough team to play. And obviously when uh, we played them, the, uh, the Hawks played them, I mean, they were just skating circles around us uh pot in goals whether it's just taking shots at at the point um from top of the circle or just greasy goals uh they were burying the puck that night uh that was a crazy high scoring game um uh towards maybe the the last quarter of the season there uh, uh starting the the last quarter of the season the uh, Kraken played us and Wow. I mean, that's a team that uh, it's going to be interesting to watch. Um, also signed one more player to a minimum deal at uh, 775000 Uh Mitch Renke. haven't heard of him. He's 27 years old. Um, not sure his history um, playing, right? Signed by Ron Francis, obviously GM of the uh, Kraken, but... I'm not sure where he was at before. It seems like he was in the Blues system, so the St. Louis Blues system, and then he possibly got moved over to the Penguins uh, AHL team. So he's been a depth player, uh, first career, uh, uh, solid depth numbers um, for maybe like a bottom six guy. But 27 years old, I, I think they're just trying to get more bodies in for uh, camp. Uh, the uh, Kraken camp, and they're going to have a nice team this year. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to watch uh, with Seattle. Uh, Shane Wright, Matty Beneers, bringing in some more veteran guys. Um, de- definitely, if you guys have a chance, just take a look at the uh, Kraken's lineup, uh, their roster, and uh, it's a fun team to watch. Uh, similar to like when the uh, Golden Knights came in, um, they really just, I mean, man, did, did they just burst on the scene? Uh, really good offensive team. Um, really successful in the postseason. Had decent goaltending throughout, which is a very important, and they did get that. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch for the Kraken, definitely. Uh, just a few more uh, tidbits here with the – uh, Hawks, a few, like not big tidbits for the like main season, the regular season, but good leading up to the season, right? Uh, so still have a little time before we get into training camp. And uh, Mario Terabasi, obviously from uh, CHGO, CHGO uh, Sports, Blackhawks, um, he posted a – quick tidbit uh from scott powers and a russo hockey uh he's connected with the minnesota wild and they run the tom curvers um rookie showcase uh every year and we saw them play last year uh with the rookies and that's great to see you know just your young young prospects out there in an you know like an organized uh game not just like scrimmaging against themselves, right? Uh, just the, the whole team. So it's good to see them against different guys, uh, different players during the summer, uh, towards the end of the summer, right? So uh, they confirmed, Scott Powers and Russo Hockey, uh, posted by Mario, uh, confirming Connor Bedard will play at least one game at the Tom Curvers Rookie Showcase against the Minnesota Wild. Uh, a quote here from 
I believe someone in the Hawks organization here, uh, maybe from the coaching staff, but says we all want Bedard to be protected, but he wants to be treated as one of the guys. So that's why he's playing. Or it seems like that's just a quote from uh, Mario, but I definitely agree with that. Uh, but Bedard's been un- unreal with just elaborating on his his team, right? Uh, his draft class, right? When when he came in, he is a um, selfless person, right? He's all about the team. He he's not focused on himself. He just wants to be like everyone else. And I think he's shaping up to be a uh, great locker room guy and playing in this Tom Curvis showcase. Um, that's great for him. Great, great for the prospects, the, uh, the uh, draft class this year, the uh, 2023 draft class. And it's great for the fans and uh, co- coaching staff, because we're going to have some Bedard content, right? And we're going to see these prospects come up. Um, that is unbelievable because uh, me and Joe, we are crazy connected, just paying attention to these prospects. And we're definitely going to have uh, all the content on that uh, because we are super locked in on it. Uh, this is this is uh, big news because uh, we were thinking maybe Bedard wouldn't play, right, for the end of the summer type of thing, like not risking injury and uh, – but this is hockey. Uh, you have to get on the ice. You got to build some chemistry. Got, got to get your legs under you, right? Uh, that's that's great to see. Bedard will be playing very soon. Uh, I'm going to have to check the dates on the Tom Curvers Rookie Showcase, but we're definitely going to be posting about that and definitely keep an eye on that. Um, that's going to be great stuff. Uh, Nashville Predators have signed goalie Dylan Wells to a professional tryout. Uh, Dylan Wells, Hawks, Blackhawks legend, right? But uh, he only played a few games, a little shaky. Um, obviously, a very young goalie. Looked solid, decent um, in that, you know, just being tossed in there. And uh, that's good how he uh, handled it. And maybe he will make his way uh, through the Predators um, system. And they also picked up Kevin Lincoln in a few years ago, right? One or two years ago after uh, we let him go. And that's good to see that uh, these goalies are getting a chance, right? Uh, With the uh, Predators, two former Hawks uh, attendees. Uh, That's good to see for uh, Dylan Wells. Also, some more news with the goalie department. Uh, the, The Hawks have hired a new goalie development coach after Peter Aubrey's departure. Uh, So Scott Powers confirmed this in an article, uh, obviously had a source from it, right? But uh, that's interesting. Uh, I believe the goalie coach was still Jimmy Waite, uh, former Blackhawk goalie. Uh, So this is the player, new goalie development coach, Peter Aubrey's departure. So maybe there's a few coaches right? Um, that, that would be great, but they have hired a new coach and that's an area where I think we should be, uh, focusing on, right? Uh, you don't want to just neglect that, uh, with Soderblom, Soderblom coming up, uh, Stauber, Camesso and drafting Adam, Adam Guyon. Um, we have some interesting guys, uh, just got to coach them up they have already shown that they are solid players, right? Except for uh Guyon just drafted, but he's very a very interesting prospect. Uh super athletic, but I think they're definitely gonna hone on, hone in on some of that um some of those skills. Uh just you have to be coached up. Um if you really wanna be the best player that you can be, especially in net where You have to develop guys. Um, You have to have multiple goalies that are just ready to go because injuries um, are very common with goalies uh, these days. Obviously, we're seeing that with Peter Morazic and uh, having Soderblom as as a backup. 
on rotation. Um, I, I'm, I'm still wondering what's going on with the rotation this year with Morazic and Soderblom, but I fully expect us to bring in one more goalie, um, veteran, young guy, uh, doesn't really matter, but just having an, another body there in net because uh, injuries will happen and you have to have some depth there. Uh, so the Hawks are making just a few posts um, with the UC, you know, with the ice. Uh, it says we, we play hockey this month. Uh, yeah, so the preseason tickets have been released. The regular season tickets have also been released. So if you want to pick up some, some tickets, uh, they are available. I hi- highly recommend just waiting the um, day before or the day of, um, hours before uh, puck drop, just going on Ticketmaster, SeatGeek, StubHub, um, find, finding the best deal, right, at a good price um, below retail. I think that's the best way to get tickets, uh, n- not buying super ahead, right, in advance. Um, I think that's a great way to pick up great price tickets, um, good seats too. Um, you will find good deals um, closer to puck drop. And I think that's the way to go. Um, so a little more prospect news. Uh, Il- Ilya Safanov uh, from the KHL. Uh, we, we've we been talking about him a little, right? Uh, he's, he's pretty impressive. Um, also here, he's 20 years old, decent size, good shot, good, good skating um, from Russia, right? So, uh, we hope to have him here soon uh, in the next few years. Uh, one or two years, I believe his contract is up. And by by that time, I think he'll be a plug-and-play guy, whether it's the middle six, anywhere. If he could carve out a role, that would be great. Uh, he's also an alternate captain this year, and he started on the first line uh, for their first game. So that's nice to see that he's being more of a – or he's, he's being used as more of a top six guy now. And uh, being on the first line, that is that is good praise, great development. Um, that's great for Safanov and uh, great for us in the future. Uh, so one more little prospect tidbit. Uh, the Hawks prospect, Martin Misiak, uh, he had a great debut, right, for the Erie Otters. He was drafted first overall in the – WHL draft and that's good to see him come over um I believe he's from Slovakia if I'm correct I believe he's from Slovakia but uh that's great to see him come over to the WHL and uh he in his first game debuted in the preseason here so it's still preseason uh for the Erie Otters and he had one goal three assists uh, and a plus four from Chicago Prospects on Twitter. Uh, he put those stats out, and the Erie Otters uh, posted a clip of his goal. Uh, it seems like he came off the bench after a, a quick line change uh, while the Otters were still in the Ozone, and uh, Misiak drops in towards the right circle, gets the pass over, um, I'll run the dot of the right circle, and then just goes far side. Uh, Nice shot, powerful shot, looks super comfortable with it. Uh, just let in a rip, far side. Hey, that's great to see. Uh, just just without hesitation, right? You don't want to see players thinking. You just want to see them act. When they get the puck, what's the best option? Passing, pa- passing over to someone else or taking the shot on net. A, a great shot, an accurate shot. I think that's great. Uh Missyak just, I mean, wow, four points and a plus four in this game. I, I believe it was a blowout. It was probably like six to two or, or six to one um, for the preseason uh, date debut. Uh, that is great. Great to see first game. Um, obviously hard to uh, keep that consistent, right? Uh, four points is unbelievable. And, Hey, if he could be a point per game in the WHL, maybe even over, because uh, he was drafted first o- overall, and they see something in him that uh, they couldn't pass up 
first overall, and that's that's awesome. Uh, he does have side size, he does have speed, and he has a decent shot. Uh, his his motor seems to be his best um, aspect of his game. Um, when I saw some some tape on him, I mean he's just hounding the uh, puck carrier at all times. Similar to Brandon Hagel, just how he chased guys with the puck, and he and he either bumps them off the puck or just stick lifts them. Uh, but he is glued to to the puck carrier. I think Martin Misiak is going to be a, a very I- interesting player for us down the road here. Um, it's going to be great to see him and everyone else develop throughout the years here. And uh, that pretty much wraps up our episode. Uh, for for today, uh, Joe will will we will be back soon. Uh, he just had to take the day off. That's all right. But I'm running solo. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna be back soon, and hopefully, we get some more news leading up to training camp very soon and the Tom Curvers uh, showcase with Bedard and all the prospects. That's gonna be great. Uh, keep an eye on the channel and the profile on Twitter, uh, Shy Blackhawks YT on Twitter or X. I guess it. It's called now, uh, but yep. Uh, follow us, follow us on Twitter, YouTube. Uh, uh, tune in next time. Uh, Joe will be back, so we will cover whatever news we have, uh, whether it's league wide and the Hawks news. But uh, I'm Skokes, and thanks for listening to Chicago Blackhawks Central Podcast.